Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss back again with another video and today we're going to take a look at the HP Pavilion Special Edition Laptop featuring Beats Audio. Alright, now this is kind of hot right here. First up, let me show you the website real quick so you can see where to get it from. Now, I was actually going to pick this up out of Best Buy the other day. They wanted $600 plus tax. So you're looking at $620. I went online and I found it a little bit cheaper. Go to Amazon.com. I'll throw the link up in the description. Now also as you can see, I bought this on June 28th and I got it delivered on July 1st. So really fast shipping. All right, so we got the HP 15.6 inch special edition laptop featuring Beats Audio. The price for this, 588.88. So you're looking at 590 bucks. Let's go through some of the features real quick. You got dual speakers and subwoofer. You got an HD capacitive touchscreen, so this is a fully touchscreen unit. And you got a red backlit keyboard. That's kind of sick. It also comes pre-installed with some Beats Audio apps, so you can do some DJ style stuff. Now, fellas, brace yourselves. Here comes the official tech specs. Yeah, I know I hate talking about tech specs, but let's just get through this as fast as we can. Operating system, Windows 8.1. Performance, you got an AMD quad-core A8 processor. Memory, you got 8 gigs. Hard drive, you got one terabyte with 5,400 RPMs, or as we say, RIMPs, with the hard drive speed. As far as dimensions and weight, uh, it's about six pounds. The display, 15.6 inches, and you got a backlit touchscreen display. As far as the video graphics, you got an AMD Radeon HD 8510G graphics with up to 4,224 megabytes total graphics memory. Uh, wireless optic, uh, as, you know, wireless, you know, the standard uh, WLAN and Bluetooth. Optical drive, you got a Super Multi DVD burner. The finish. Now, the finish features HP Texture Linear Finish Design in Twinkle Black and Vibrant Red and Ash Silver Cover. You also get a one year limited warranty. Now, let's make sure any specs that uh, we need to go through real quick that we didn't miss. Let's see, uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> All right, that's pretty much it on the specs. Now, Let's unbox this and see what you get inside. Presentation. Typical Beats. Black and red theme. But this is HB. So this is HP. So you're not going to get that, you know, Beats headphone presentation. That's extra crazy. This is a regular HP laptop. But it just has Beats audio built into it. Now let's just clear something up real quick. Just like with phones and tablets, anything that has Beats audio doesn't mean that it's going to sound extra crazy from the external speakers, but it should sound better when you plug in some headphones. And we're going to test that out and see. All right, so let me grab the little, little, little unboxing knife. Let's get, let's get the sound effect. Rah, rah, rah. All right. <laughs> yeah, I know I'll be having too much fun with this. Matter of fact, matter of fact, um, let me see. I got, a, I got the little, little, let me get the little, little, even little unboxing knife. This way we can get some surgical cuts here. There we go. I'm trying not to go into beast mode, fellas. It's almost the 4th of July. We're trying to take it easy, but we might have to. Let's check the frustration level on this before we activate beast mode. So far, so good, though. Ah. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm just going to slide this behind the camera real quick, and we'll pull this out. We'll pull out the contents. There goes your laptop, and you get another little box, and you also get a manual. All right, so that's everything inside of the box. Now, let's go through this junk real quick. <laughs> uh, everything but the laptop is considered junk. Got your usual books and shit. File that to the side immediately. Here's your technical support and your warranty information. File that to the side. Set up instructions. Okay, now we might have to we might have to save this real quick. Fellas, don't let the ladies see you reading this. Put this to the side somewhere and go read it on the low. Now, <laughs> inside of this, let's see what we got. That's the box. Here's your power cord. Two-part power cord. Let's just uh rock. Oh boy. Two-part power cord. Okay? Plug one end in just like that, into the wall, into the laptop. Simple as that. Here's your battery. Okay, let's see. Mm. 
Let's get through. Let's let's see if any any battery specs. All right, fourteen point eight on the volts. Okay, standard laptop size battery. So you should be getting about three four hours out of this. I don't see nothing crazy. Now let's take a look at the the main laptop. Thing got a little bit of weight to it. A little bit of weight. All right, so here's the. Uh, matter of fact, let me do the smell test. It just went, it just went past my face. Ah, smells fresh, nice and fresh. Nice little weight to this. When they said uh, almost six pounds, they not lying. It's definitely almost six pounds. On the bottom of the laptop, you got a big Beats audio symbol. I, I like that. I'm definitely feeling that. And here's your subwoofer on the bottom. Okay, so let's drop the battery in here real quick. Sorry, fellas. I got to keep pulling back behind the camera, but it's hard to do stuff like this in front of the camera. Let's, uh, let's just slap this on in. Okay, battery installed. One, two, three. Let's take a look at the left side. Let's check out the ports. Okay, this is your power port right here with a little LED. Okay, so just in case you're a new jack, this is how you're going to plug the laptop in. Simple. This is your Ethernet, <laughs> Ethernet slot right here. So if you got a wired internet connection, you're going to plug it in right there. These are your vents. Never cover these up. All right, laptops like this, I know I got a bunch of laptops. You don't ever want to cover these up. You want to make sure you let the laptop breathe. All right, so this is where it's going to breathe from right here. You got a full-size HDMI port. You got two USB 3.0 ports. And you got your SD card reader. Let's check on the other side now. Okay, on the other side, this is your security slot. This is your disk drive right here. Let's just... We'll play with that in a second. <laughs> That's the disk drive right there. This is a USB 2.0 slot. This is your headphone jack and your mic jack. This is your hard, uh, your hard disk LED and your power LED. Okay, on the back, nothing. That's pretty much it. On the top, you got your HP logo, which is also black and red going with the Beats theme. And on the bottom, if you look close, it says Beats Audio. All right, so beautiful looking laptop. Now, I'm a little bit hot, so you see, it is a little fingerprint magnet. Let's see how easy it is to get those fingerprints off, though. Okay, not too easy. So this might be one of those laptops that you have to have a little bit of spray and keep it nice and clean. All right, whatever. We'll do that later. Now, let's open it up to see the inside. Now, I did read a bunch of reviews online, and one of the things that people were complaining about is you can't open this up with one hand, and yeah, I'm going to have to agree. It should have been a little slot right here that you can, you know, stick your finger in. <laughs> stick it in deep, fellas. <laughs> it should have been a little slot, but it's not. All right, it's not. Might need two hands to open this up. Okay, so we'll open this up. Get a nice little, <laughs> little piece of foam. Let's see if we got any power fresh out the box. Okay, we'll let that power up. Nice looking keyboard, though. We're going to turn the lights down and see how, how it looks with the uh, backlit keyboard lit up. And you got a big Beats Audio logo on your trackpad. So that's a nice little touch right there. All right, so I'm going to pause the video real quick because I'm not going to keep y'all sitting here while all this stuff loads up. Let me let everything load up and we'll, we'll try out the touchscreen and all that and we'll take a look how the keyboard uh, looks. Let's see. Nice flexible keyboard too. Nice key clicks. This is, this is exactly how fast I type. Now, <laughs> in real life, I type like this. <laughs> Just like this. All right, I'll be right back. Talk amongst yourself. All right, y'all, so we're back in. Now, I've been playing around with it for a few minutes. I put all my information in and got everything set up. And I got to say that I'm impressed. I, for the price, the laptop is pretty good. Now, as you can see, let's hit the button. Full touch screen. All right, so you got a fully touch screen computer right here. You do have the pinch to zoom and all that stuff. You know, this, it, everything works. All right, now I'm not going to do a full review on this because this is a basic laptop. You're not going to buy this laptop to be doing all kind of crazy gaming and all that, you know, fancy stuff on it. This is a nice, basic laptop. And the main reason I got it is because it's going to fit my theme. And we'll talk about that in a minute. But let's, uh, let me just turn the lights off real quick so you can see the backlit keyboard. This is what it looks like. Now, it's not ultra, ultra bright. But it looks nice. Now, the camera's not really doing it too much justice, but if you're sitting in a dark room, you're not going to have any problems seeing the keys. Okay? Now, real quick, let's do a sound test on this because, you know, it is Beats Audio. So let's see if there's uh, any mind-blowing sound to this. Let me see. I, I should have a website. I went to the SoundCloud. 
Let's do the usual sound test. Let's see how it sounds. Alright, <laughs> now I gotta be brutally honest, it sounds exactly like a regular laptop. The, as far as Beats Audio with the external speakers, yeah, it doesn't sound too much different. It sounds exactly like all of my other laptops. Now, I do gotta test it with some, uh, you know, wired headphones and all that, and we'll see if that makes a difference. I'll update the, I'll up the, uh, <laughs> got tongue tied. I'll update y'all when I do my next Simple But Effective Tech. Matter of fact, I'll update y'all tomorrow night when I do Amazon Warrior video. All right, so basically on a scale of one to 10, I'm giving this a go. I like it. It's a basic, simple laptop. Now, I forgot to mention, it does have turbo boost. So it's clocked at 1.7 gigahertz, but it will boost all the way up to 2.7. So that's a little important touch right there. Overall, it looks nice though. And that's like I, like I was about to say now, that was the main reason for me getting this. All right, so on a scale of one to 10, this is a go for 600 bucks. I'm definitely gonna say, yeah, this is a win. Video's over. Now, <laughs> let me talk to y'all real quick. I know what a lot of y'all gonna say. Why, you know, why did you get the beats? I don't like beats. You know, we'll talk about this real quick. Like I said, the video's over. I'm just talking to my hardcore cats real quick. A lot of people, I just did that video last week. Matter of fact, a couple of days ago for the UE boom. Now, a lot of people was leaving comments. I told y'all I read every single comment. A lot of people was leaving comments saying that old oh, Beats Audio is junk and it's trash and why do you buy Beats and this and that and all that. Look, a lot of y'all just hate Beats just to hate Beats. You know, a lot of people don't even know why they hate Beats. A lot of people don't even have Beats products, and they just hate Beats. And I understand that. Y'all read that article that uh, it might cost $50 to make a set of Beats headphones, and they turn around and sell it for $300. Well, you got to remember, when you're buying Beats products, you're not just buying that actual product. You're buying the brand. It's just like anything else in life. I'll give you a perfect example. Sneakers. All right, if you're looking for some basketball sneakers, you could go in Models and go right on the table and find some Reebok basketball sneakers for 50 bucks. That the same ones that you see a lot of NBA players wearing, you know, extra high top ankle support, fancy basketball sneakers that you're really going to go there and dunk on somebody on the basketball court wearing, you know, for 50 bucks. Or you could go out and, and buy a pair of Jordans. Now, Jordans, they're going to cost you, you know, $200, $250, even $300. And it's basically the same sneaker. But what you're paying for is you're paying for that name. It's a big difference when you pull out a set of Reeboks and, you know, you walk through the mall wearing a set of Reeboks. The, it's a big difference with the kind of love you're going to get when you walk through wearing a set of Jordans. And it's just like that with everything else. The same reason why when you go on Walmart, you don't buy the Walmart brand soda. Sometimes you buy a Pepsi. You know, it depends. Now, look, we could, we could debate this back and forth. But the main reason I bought this is because it's going to match my setup. All right, so I got the I got the Beats pill. Okay, I got now this is a little setup. I'm I'm gonna show you how how I'm gonna do it. I got one of these. I got two sets of Beats headphones. So this laptop right here, I didn't buy this because I know a lot of people are gonna say, why didn't you get the ASUS, you know, three six nine TX four? Why didn't you get the Toshiba nine one four? Why didn't you get the Sony XKB? You know, those are better gaming laptops and all that. Look, I understand that, but I didn't buy this to game on it. I bought this. Just to do simple stuff, going on YouTube, checking my emails, playing music, watching Netflix. And the, the main reason I bought this is I might have a little setup somewhere in the house on a little spare table. And this is going to be my laptop for when company comes over. All right, because like when my nephews come over or when I got chicks coming through, I hate when people say, oh, let me use, you know, let me use the computer for a minute. And then I, I got to go to my laptop and let them use my laptop. I don't need anybody to know I was watching uh, Big Black Booty Volume 7 last week. I don't, I, I don't, we don't need to, everybody to know that. All right, so I got a nice little laptop like this that I'm going to have set up and a nice little display. I have the Beats pill. I have the two sets of Beats headphones. I'm probably going to take this and get it powder coated. Maybe black and red. I want to show y'all one more product real quick, you know, while we're talking. Let me show y'all something else real quick. Now, I already reviewed this. I already reviewed this, but I had to get another one. Because this is my favorite laptop stand. All right, the M stand. All right, I just got another one real quick. Let me just rip it up. Matter of fact, 
Yeah, let, let me show it to y'all real quick, just in case you didn't see that other video. I'll just rip it out the box real quick. Matter of fact, let me, let me, let me I'll show you how much it costs too, while we talking. While we here talking, we might as well see. Let me show y'all real quick. I already had it set up. All right, now this is what it looks like. The M stand. This one is going to run you 44 bucks. Okay, same date, June 28th. Got it on July 1st. Win. <laughs> All right, so let me, um, got a little bit of tape on this one. I'm going to just beast mode this one open. Ah! We don't have time to play around y'all. Okay. Ah! Talk amongst yourselves. Okay, here we go. Now, this is a simple laptop stand. Simple but effective. Yeah, I know that's my theme. But this is my favorite laptop stand. And I got a bunch of them. But this is the one I use the most. You see, it has the cutout right here for all your cable management. This is really nice. So since I already got one of these, I got... A, now, y'all seen the video I did for my uh, MacBook Pro. I got a full aluminum setup. Okay, I got the hinge dock where my MacBook stands up horizontally. I got one of these two. I got the aluminum USB drive, the aluminum, uh, <laughs> the aluminum HD, uh, the aluminum hub, you know, the, the, the multi-port hub, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> but everything is all aluminum. Y'all seen it for yourself. So what I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to take it to my man. He's one of these artsy kind of cats. So you do all the art stuff. And he told me that he's going to powder coat it for me, black and red. He's going to put some Beats logo somewhere on this and make it, you know, make everything match. So it's going to look like this. So I'm going to have this set up like this. Matter of fact, this is kind of killing me, fellas. Let me just, um, I know, it's probably killing y'all too. Let's just get rid of these. Uh, let's see how this looks when it's clean. How it's supposed to look. Yeah, because that was kind of killing me a little bit. <laughs> if you look close, it kind of has some, like, sparkly stuff on it too. That's nice. All right, so I'm going to have it set up like this. I have one of these, you know, set up with the headphones on, you know, on the side. I have the Beats pill somewhere and have everything, you know, color coordinated. So that's the main reason why I bought this. I'm just I'm, the only reason I'm saying this right now, too, because I know a lot of people in the comments are going to say how much they hate Beats and all that. Even though, even though anybody with ears, not even ears, with eyes, anybody who has eyes. And you've seen that video I did for the UE Boom. You can't try to pretend like, I understand that a lot of y'all don't like Beats, I understand that. But you can't try to pretend like Beats is 100% trash, because it's not. If you watch that video for yourself, the UE boom, yeah, it sounds good. But the Beats pill was louder, alright? And even if you didn't hear it, even if it didn't process right in your computer or your headphones or whatever you had on, even if you didn't hear it, you seen it for yourself. You seen the way the bass was shaking the table and the Big Blue Party killed both of those. But the point is, the Beats pill is not trash. These Beats headphones right here, yeah, you know, I got I got Sennheiser headphones in the crib. I got Audio Technicas that I, I, I use if I'm watching Save It Private Ryan or Black Hawk Down, and I want to hear all of the helicopter sounds and the gunshots and the screams of agony and all that. I'll play those headphones. But if I'm going to the mall, I'm going to the park to play ball, maybe I'm going to Madison Square Garden to the Knicks game, then I come out with the Beats headphones or come out with the Monsters because these are more fashionable. So a lot of the reason that people buy Beats is the same reason that people buy Jordans and name brand clothes. You're paying for that name. Now, also, a lot of people, same article, when people were saying that, okay, you know, Beats be marking the price up, you got to remember that no, no other headphone company on the market spends as much money on marketing as Beats. So yeah, I think y'all getting ripped off, you know, because they, they cost $50 to make the headphones and they sell them for $300. But Beats is not killing the profit like that because if you look how much money they're spending on marketing, that's why you see all of the rappers, all of the, the, the uh, actors, the singers, you see all your favorite basketball, football, baseball players, all the TV stars, everybody wearing Beats in the commercials and wearing Beats on the air. They spend a lot of money on marketing. And that, that drives up the brand popularity. I, I, I was just thinking about this today when I was up in the gym. I'm looking around and I noticed that 90% of the people in the gym had on Beats headphones. And it's not because that, you know, they're the best, but they're the most popular. So this is the kind of laptop I'm going to have set up in the house. And, you know, nothing wrong with looking popular. <laughs> I like that. I have this set up in the crib. When people come through, everything will be black and red, and it'll be a nice themed look. All right, for 600 bucks, in my opinion, this is a win. Now, if you're looking for that extra gaming laptop, yeah, then you might want to go with the Asus. The, the QX9 4000, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You might want to go with something a little bit better. But you're going to pay for that. You're going to pay for that. If you just want a nice little standard laptop to do standard stuff, YouTube, Netflix, you know, the basic stuff, 
and you want it to look cool just in case you take it up, you know, take it with you outside, take it with you somewhere when you go out, this is going to look nice. Imagine you got your Beats headphones on, you're sitting this, you got this on your lap. It's going to look nice. All right, then that's what I, I, I buy a lot of stuff just to look nice. All right, so hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this. Like I said, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm giving this a go. I'm definitely feeling the, the look to this, and I'm feeling that backlit keyboard, and I'm feeling the price. All right, let me know what y'all think. Shout out to everybody that rock with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters I see I holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the Amazon Warrior on Sundays. Y'all already know, Stream Gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No Meat Boys allowed. Also, special shout out to the Scissor Squad and the Donut Boys. We in the building. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Oh, real quick too, I was just looking over. I found something. I found two other things too that I'm gonna incorporate into this. I found this EC technology battery charger. So black and red. This is gonna fit right into the theme. And I found my tilt wireless charging pad. So um, I'm gonna have a nice setup. And this is this is gonna fit right in. I'm gonna have a nice setup, everything black and red. When company comes over, if I got a chick coming through. We got his and hers, black and red headphones, and you never know. All right? The Beats logo could be the difference between putting you in the bun zone and putting you in the baby oil zone. Y'all know what I'm talking about. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces.